This video is brought to you by Surfshark VPN. And Surfshark. <laughs> uh. <laughs> What's up y'all, I'm Ten Hundred. I'm an artist from Seattle, Washington, and I just got a package in the mail. And this package is from Brad Mondo. Now Brad Mondo is a famous YouTuber. He's getting close to 5 million subscribers. He's a hairstylist. He does all kinds of crazy videos. He's a wild personality, an over the top kind of dude. And somehow, some way, Brad Mondo became a fan of little old me, 10 hundred. <laughs> it's like such an odd pairing of people, but somehow art has brought us together. Now, those of you who've seen a few of my videos might remember Brad. He sent me a mystery box of art supplies a little while ago. He sent me a bunch of stuff. I didn't know what it was and I had to make a dope piece of art out of it. You can check that video out right here, but this time, he sent me another box and I, I don't know what's going on. He also sent me a little video clip and he told me to watch it when I got the package. So let's take a look at this video. So, Mr. 100, I have a mission for you. I have this Louis Vuitton, Louis Vuitton bag. Listen, I got it because I kind of wanted to be cliche and be very 90s and have this mom looking bag. And it was fun, okay? But I'm kind of over it. And I've been playing with the idea of letting somebody paint it. And I'm like, you know what? I can't, I can't resell it after. I'm kind of nervous. But then we started talking and I was like, the only person I would trust to paint this very expensive Louis Vuitton keep all bag is you. Okay, I want you to do whatever you want to this bag. I am so excited. I feel like I'll wear it more than ever once you paint it. So the only thing I want to say, the only direction I want to give is don't include too much pink in it. I'm kind of like over the whole pink vibe and I love like badass vibes, just like cool, sexy, hot, like anything like that. I obviously love your art. Everything you do is magical and creative and awesome. And I want you to be as creative and crazy as possible on this bag, cover the whole thing. Thing, cover half of it. I don't know. Whatever you want to do. It's yours. Take good care of my baby. I'm sending this to you. I can't wait to see the results. And I, I'm so excited. A one of a kind, 10 hundred designed Louis Vuitton bag. Can't wait to see the results. All right, so Brad sent me this. Look, there's a bag for the bag. <laughs> the bag for the bag probably costs more than anything I have in my closet, let alone the bag that's inside the bag for the bag. So I have got Brad Mondo's Louis Vuitton bag, and it's up to me to try and make this doper with my art. This is probably the most expensive piece of fashion thing I've ever held in my hands. I'm a little bit nervous about painting this. Not only is it sort of a designer bag that's probably pretty expensive, but it also belongs belongs to Brad Mondo, who is uh, kind of like a YouTube celebrity. So the pressure is certainly on. Um, I should probably try and do a good job. I hope that I do a good job. And I guess there's no time like the present. Let's just jump into this. Photo shoot. All right, first things first, let me take some photos of this thing so I can start sketching, coming up with some concepts of what I'm gonna do on this bag. All right, let me bring these photos in here so I can do my sketch. Insert a photo, we'll just drag this out here, create a new layer for my sketch, and I'll just sketch with this peppermint pencil. Let's lower the opacity a bit here on the bag so I can kind of see what's going on. Now let's get sketching. Sketching on the iPad, on the iPad. First I had absolutely no idea what I wanted to do on this thing. Then I was thinking about it, I wanted to do kind of like streetwear vibes like my whole clothing line is like illustrative streetwear it's a mixture of my art and design and every piece of merch that brad mondo has bought for me has been black and white so i was like let me go with some like black and white vibes maybe throw in a pop of color and just kind of bring in a bit of edge and and a little bit of art to this bag All right, so I think I have the front design. Looks a little something like this. I'm feeling it. It's got the black and white vibes with just the pop of orange. Very graphic, very bold, illustrative. That's what I'm going for. Now I want to design the side panels of it. If he's kind of wearing it like this, like the, the side panel will be showing, but then these like these front panels and back panels will be showing. So I want to do designs for that too, so that no matter what direction you look at it from, hopefully it'll be popping. So let's jump in on that. Uh -huh. 
Sketching on a glossy screen Is it dope? Yeah, possibly An unknown number Someone's calling me Hi, is this Louis Vuitton? Yeah, sponsor me Painting it for Brad Trying to make a bag If you could leave it like that Be motherfucking rad uh, I'm so international I designed a new bag for Brad Mondo Orange, black, and white Color scheme limited A lot of people have this bag Let's make it different Hey Brad, you gon' floss the most though Cause it's Louis V bag That's muy costoso And now speak Espanol Brand new bag, damn, what are those? Daniel, Gucci, and Louis, and Prada, and Fendi How'd I end up painting something so spendy? Uh. My goal with this bag was to kind of try and combine cute and ferocious Beautiful and dangerous You've got like cute little anime bunnies mixed with like tigers and dragons And yeah, that was kind of my goal with this one all right, so it's time to sketch out my concept art onto the actual bag. And because of the Louis Vuitton repeating pattern here, I actually have a built-in doodle grid. So on my iPad over here, I have my concept art laid over the grid, and hopefully I can kind of follow along there. Um, my charcoal pencil is not going to work. It doesn't make a mark at all, uh, which kind of sucks because I would have been able to just wash this away. So I think I might have to use a paint marker, which means I have one shot, basically. If I mess up with this, like the paint is on there. So I gotta be careful when I put my sketch on here <laughs> or else I'm gonna have to get real creative about like covering up mistakes and everything. So, I guess it's time to just jump in and try to use this grid and put my sketch on here. So let's go. I'm gonna be using some of this Angelus leather paint on here. I'm mostly gonna be needing black, white, different levels of oranges for my design. Shout out to Angelus, they've actually been real supportive of me and my art in the past. So yeah, I guess it's time to get painting. The tricky part on this bag was kind of painting this curved surface. The Louis Vuitton leather had a lot of texture to it, a lot of sort of dimples and peaks and valleys, and making sort of like clean lines on a textured surface is always a little bit tricky to me. Also, this style of illustration, this style of line work is something that I would normally do with like Faber Castell India ink pens, do it more as a drawing style. But because this is being painted on a leather bag, I needed to use these Angelus leather paints and doing my line art with just brushes made it so that it was just a little bit more tricky trying to find a comfortable painting position and then also just the added stress of like painting on something that's so expensive like every once in a while I'll, I'll drop my brush and like get paint on my paintings and like it, this is sort of a do or die project you got to get it right the first time every time so yeah it's a tricky one but it's also pretty crazy and pretty fun The two end panels, I wanted them to be like pure white background and have the repeating brown Louis Vuitton pattern on the sides, but the end caps have this like bold design aesthetic of like this really bright pop of white as the background. But the only problem with that is that I basically erased my doodle grid. So I had to just like freehand my illustration with some pens and it made it a bit trickier to kind of transfer my design exactly as I wanted it onto the bag. But I think it turned out pretty cool and yeah, this bag is kind of shaping up to be super dope. On the other end panel, my design had a dragon in it originally, but because of the thickness of my lines that I was getting by using the brush to do my illustrative work, I thought it was gonna be too small and too detailed to really come out how I wanted it to be. And also it wasn't gonna read very well when Brad was wearing the bag, when people were viewing it from a distance, it was just gonna be too small and detailed. So I changed up the design a little bit, took the dragon out and added some more like bigger, bolder characters. I'm almost done. I've reached the brink. Send it off to Brad. See what he thinks. I'm almost done. I've reached the brink. Send it off to Brad. See what he thinks. All right, so I have this Angelus matte acrylic finisher and I've got some duller because even though this says matte, it's still kind of shiny and this stuff makes it less shiny. Now, I'm not sure why the matte finisher doesn't just have this stuff pre-mixed in. Um, maybe Angelus can let me know, but this is like a coating for the painted parts. So they say that you should only put in like five to 8% of this into this. So I don't know how I'm gonna figure that out, but <laughs> I think I'll just wait it and do a little test and make sure it looks all good and then coat my painted area so throw some of this in here and we're 
just want to use a tiny bit of this 5%. I don't know, maybe just a few drips. Just a few drips. Just a few drips, yeah. Uh, I guess that's like 5 to 8%. <laughs> I don't know. Mix this up real good. So I'm just going to test this a little bit on the bottom corner. And we'll just see how that looks. All right, cool. So that doesn't look too bad. So we'll just go ahead and coat this guy up. I'm just doing thin coats. Probably do two thin coats. Put those thin coats on. Put those thin coats on. Cool. It's got a lot of air bubbles in it right now, but hopefully those pop and we'll let that dry for a little bit. So, yeah. Well, I just finished the bag and I'm pretty excited on how it came together. I'm about to show you guys the final shots of the finished bag. And also I'm shipping it off express mail over to Brad Mondo. He promised to open it up on video and show you guys his reaction. So I'm super excited to see that. But first I gotta let you know that this video is brought to you by Surfshark VPN. What's a VPN? A VPN or virtual private network is a privacy protection tool which guarantees instant online safety. Surfshark encrypts all the data sent via the internet so that no one can see your password, private messages, photos, videos, or any of your sensitive data. You gotta keep that data safe. The hackers are always watching. You can also change which country you're accessing the internet from to unlock region locked content. It's so annoying when I'm traveling and I open Netflix and I'm like, where's my shows? <laughs> and other countries get all kinds of different stuff that I don't get in the United States. Give me the content. I need the content. That's where a VPN comes in. I find myself using internet cafes, hotel Wi-Fi, and a bunch of unsecured networks. So I just launched Surfshark VPN. Boop, boop, boop. Got it all blocked off. No one can see my data. It's encrypted. And with Surfshark, you can bypass censorship everywhere. The censorship is dumb. So yeah, Surfshark VPN is pretty much all around badass. And what makes them really special is that you can use it on an unlimited number of devices. Your laptop, your desktop, your tablet, your phone. It's Surfshark on all of them. It's crazy. <laughs> so what are you waiting for? Hit up Surfshark and definitely, definitely use my code 1000 to get 85% off plus three extra months free. Surfshark offers a 30 day money back guarantee. So there's no risk to try it out for yourself. Link is in the description below. Come on y'all, keep that data safe. Watch content from anywhere in the world and tell those hackers not today, not today. Cause you got Surfshark. Thank you so much to Surfshark for sponsoring this video. All right, y'all, y'all ready to see the finished bag? The final 1000 Louis Vuitton bag? Let's go. Uh. The time has come, you guys. I get to see my bag. I'm so excited. And I'm clearly not prepared. <laughs> I'm wearing workout shorts. Um. Anyways, so I'm not gonna show you the box because it has my address all over it. So we're just gonna open it down here. And I just can't believe that I gave 1000 my first ever Louis Vuitton bag just to paint. Just do whatever you want, paint it. Except also, if there was gonna be one person that I would trust with this bag, it'd be Mr. 1000. So I'm excited to see what he did. Also like a little nervous, of course. Yes, more merch. Oh, this is sick. Oh my God, I love zip up hoodies too. Yes, thank you. This is such a cool design. I love it, I love it, I love it, I love it. We got our stickers, we got everything, we got all our accessories. Now, I have to say 1000, the um, wrapping job you did on today's package is much better than last time. Last time there were about 100 layers and um, it was a challenge, but this time, no, not anymore. Okay, here it is. <gasps> Louis Vuitton. Okay, I'm ready to open it. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Let me open it up. Oh my god. Okay, open. Open sesame. <laughs> Yo, I'm gonna be the coolest person at the airport. Shit.
This is way cooler than the bag it started as. Um, I'm so happy I made this decision. Yo, the details are so crisp. I'm obsessed. Oh, you nailed this. Oh my God. Look at the scissors too. Like, this is so me. Like, Yo, this looks way, this is way cooler. This is way cooler than having just a plain Louis Vuitton bag. I love how we had this little emo boy on the side who's also like, like, I don't know what he is, but he's really cool. It kind of looks like me, but not really. And a bird. And we have, the scissors is just the coolest part. And then like this dope looking girl, like this tiger. So cool. Oh. Okay, it says Mondo. Oh, I love it so much now. I was so over it before and now I love it again. Thank you, 10 100. This is the coolest thing ever. I so appreciate you doing this and damn. Okay, you really, you really did that thing. You really did that for me. And I am so appreciative. Amazing job. 10 out of 10, you rocked it. Thank you. Now go buy his merch. Okay, guys. <laughs> well, thank you, Brad. Glad you liked it. Hope you rock it. Hope you love it. Yeah, this is a crazy project. I had a ton of fun painting that Louis Vuitton bag. Where do these weird projects come from? How do I end up doing these things? <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, leave a like. Subscribe to my YouTube channel if you're not already. You can even ring the bell if you want to know exactly when the next video is coming out. Thank you so much to Surf Shark VPN for sponsoring this video. Check that link out in the description. Normally, this is the part of the video where I would tell you about different ways to support me as an artist, but I would love to encourage you guys to support a lot of great foundations for community bail bonds, mutual aid funds, and racial justice organizations. I just put out a wallpaper on my website. It costs like three bucks and 100% of the proceeds will go to Act Blue, which is an organization that splits your donation to like 70 plus different community bail funds, mutual aid funds, and uh, racial justice organizations. So if you want to go spend $3 on a 4K desktop wallpaper, and you know that 100% of your money is gonna go to a good cause, you could check that out on my website. But yeah, just, you know, let's make this world a better place. Let's love each other. Let's respect each other. Let's treat each other with care because it's crazy right now. Anyway, thank you so much to my patrons for supporting me on a monthly basis. You guys are awesome. Really, really appreciate you guys. I'm 1000. This has been super fun. What'd you guys think of the bag? Did you like it? <laughs> Let me know down in the comments. All right, y'all. Thanks for watching. Catch you guys on the next one. I'm 1000. Peace out. Boom. Mm. Well, it's the end of the video, so it's time for the random comment shout out. This one comes from Chantel M. And Chantel said, the track plus the art plus the commentary. Gold, my friend. Gold! <laughs> Thank you so much, Chantel. Thanks for watching. Thanks for your awesome comment. Shout out to you. Hope you have an awesome day. Hope you're creating something, drawing or doing something like that. But I appreciate you watching. So shouts out to you, Chantel. Uh, all right, y'all. Peace out.